All right, guys. It is now late night. It's a cloudy night, and if you check your map here, you'll notice that the times have peaks at the beginning of the night, and then around 3 a.m. Now, for some reason, this is a time that the walleye like to move in close to shore. And let me tell you, when the conditions are right, the temperature is right, which it looks like it is. You can be very, very successful in catching a lot of them in a short period of time, especially during the peak period. But I was catching them like right here. Now the only thing is, small minnows are going to be a little more easy to access. I'm just using number two hook. The only problem with that is, is that you might get some black crappie occasionally. But I got a couple of trophy black crappie just before I started recording, which still is pretty nice. But we're going to see if these guys are going to continue to bite. But the peak is starting to go down now. Nope, they're still biting. Now these minnows are very popular. See? Doesn't take long. There's your walleye right there. <laughs> Okay. I haven't got a trophy one yet, and that's what I've been trying to get. But we're going to keep going at it here. Yeah, if you're playing the game, guys, and you see somebody fishing in this particular location, and they're next to you pulling one walleye after another, after another, after another, and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Well, the thing is, you're not. you got to remember. Everybody in the game is at different times. The weather might be the same, but they could be like I am right now, sitting at 9.49 p.m. in the game, and you could be, well, whatever time you are, in the afternoon, and you're not going to get any bites. So don't freak out about it. You just probably are at a different time than they are. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's like when you go to a lake in real life, believe me, I have had this happen. I have gone to a lake, been fishing, and there's some guy next to me, literally just, you know, 20, 25 feet away fishing, and he's pulling in one fish after another fish after another fish, and I can't even get a nibble. Sometimes it's just a matter of the right location, right, I mean, any number of things. Fish are finicky. But I will do one thing here real quick, guys. I am going to go ahead and put out a bottom rod. I didn't do that earlier because it just didn't occur to me until I'm to go ahead and try that. But we're going to put one right there. We're going to get our heavy duty rod. What in the world is it coming on there? Um, well we're going to go ahead and throw that out there. Actually, I think I might throw it out there where I got the marker. And put her down. And we'll get out our other rod. And I think I'm going to try a couple of casts of this over here. Since things are kind of getting quiet. But yeah, it seems like these guys really bite at night and on cloudy days and rainy days it's it, it can get kind of crazy I think I might switch to um, shiners because they do like the shiners and I've got quite a few of them which is good Right about there. 
not very far out. But if they don't bite, I might switch the times. That shiner's definitely moving around. No? He may be going after the shiners tonight. There we go. Yep, they want the shiners tonight. That's good. That's strange. Sometimes they really want those minnows too. It just depends on the the day and the situation. I think I'm going to go ahead and advance time. I think we've hit kind of the slower period. And it does happen around this time. So I'm going to go ahead and advance time. Oh, gosh. I forget about that every time. Can't do it while the rod is out there. I'm really surprised they're not biting out there. They they usually do at night. Alright, let's advance time. Let me take it to about two. Let me check that map again just to make sure that we are going into the peak. Yeah, actually we might go ahead and advance it to three just to make sure. This is the peak time, 3 a.m. Now this time I'm going to throw this over, let's see, right here. Put that down and we'll see if anything gets off of that. Now I'm going to pull out. Oh, wrong, wrong rod. This one. Now, I don't know if I said it before, but I do have a leader set at 40 inches. That seems to be pretty good. We're going to try just a little bit off of the front here to start off with. I get a bite. See? I don't know what it is about this side, but it just... And I'm getting a bite off the other one. Awesome. Let's see what we got here, guys. And he's definitely on there. Let's see what he is, guys. Yeah, the small minnows seem to really work well for the walleye if you're using a bottom feeder. Come on. There you go. Another walleye. Let's keep that. But they seem to be really biting right out here lately bottom fishing I like to set one out like that and then I go over here and pull up my float rod and I think everybody has their own preference on how they fish for these I think some people like to use the lures I seem to do best with the narrow spoons but I don't have any with me <laughs> I came here without a narrow spoon except like a quarter, uh, I think it was a quarter ounce, and I can't get it cast out far enough. So it's not, it doesn't really do like it's supposed to. But yeah, I'm getting a bite off right off the bat here. That minnow is real active, look at him. Wow, when it rains, it pours, right guys? 
See, that's what I'm talking about. This can happen. You can sit there and be pulling one in right after another. And just kind of... Yep, yeah, he's still interested. Let's see if... Like, I want to be sure he was absolutely on there. And he is. Okay, cool. Yeah, night fishing for the walleye. I mean, you can catch them pretty good during the day. The late evening, early morning. Rainy days are great. But it seems like the night fishing just knocks it out of the park. I think we might have us a trophy here, guys. No? He's just very big. 3.317. I'm surprised he's not in one. It's a nice looking fish. I'll take a look at him close up here. See if they hold you. If you hold him out or oh you just hold him up. Yeah, I wish there was a way to You can't just put them in your hands. It's too bad. Some fish you do and some fish you don't. I guess it depends on the species. But we're going to toss that out at the same spot. Put her down. Pull out our other rod and we'll see if we can't get another one out of here. Now it is nothing for me to pull out 12,000 cash. Son of a gun. <laughs> they are really biting over there. Throwing the lure out there, see what they do. See what that does. They are biting like crazy. There we go. We got we got him. It doesn't sound like God, what is that truck doing? <laughs> well, he quit, so I'm just gonna put it back. I've had that happen to me twice tonight. The fish was biting like crazy while I was fishing with the other pole, and as soon as I got over to it, it quits. There we go. Sounds like the truck that was making all the noise. I'm sorry about that, guys. Ooh, four o'clock. The sun's coming up. Yeah, I think 
We should probably call this an episode, guys. But I think if I advance time to the morning, I th we might be getting some rain at that point. I'm going to go ahead and grab this rod. But yeah, there are times when it just... You are literally bouncing back and forth between your rods. Pulling these guys in one after another, right after another. And that... It doesn't take long to build the cash up at all. Amen. Next morning, it's going to be raining. I knew that. <laughs> yep, and that was a light day. So, I'm going to see how well they're biting over here in the rain. It used to be that this was the prime time, guys. But unfortunately, I do not have the ideal gear. I came here initially to fish for pike, and I really need some narrow spoons. I need a little bit heavier medium spoon. But it looks like they are going to bite. Let's let him take it a little bit more than that. That's not too encouraging, but we'll see what he does. He's waiting until I cast this line. You know that's what the case is. <laughs> you know he is. He's like, go ahead, cast. Yeah. And as soon as you're zip busy with that, then I'm gonna bite. Yeah, it's very, very deep right there where that tall tree is. We're going to do this nice and slow. Our friend's back. Alright. You win. And we've got it, but I don't think he's big. This is not a walleye. Probably a perch. No, it's a black crappie. No, that's fine. That's fine. That is perfectly great. Let's see here. I'm going to throw this over here. Put that back down. Get this one back up. And we'll see if they're going to do anything. Yeah, this is not my ideal setup for walleye, unfortunately. There we go. I think this will wrap things up, but I don't think this is a walleye. I think we got us a pike here. Well, that's always a possibility. Northern pike. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I have a feeling we're going to move on, guys. I think we're going to move on to the next lake. And that is going to be in the Netherlands. So... Look for it, guys. It's coming. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later.
Bye-bye.